Hey guys, Jarek here. Welcome to my gun guide for the Desert Eagle. Oh, I'm sorry, the Bald Eagle. This game calls it a Bald Eagle. I'm going to affectionately refer to it as the Beagle. I know a lot of people like to call it the Bagel, but why would I want to shoot something I could eat at someone? That just seems like a complete waste. I mean, I'm not Asian, so I can't eat a dog, so I'd rather shoot floppy-lipped dogs at people. There are two assignments you need to complete to unlock this gun. Thankfully, they are both very easy. Here's what you gotta do. Enforcer Assignment 1. Unlock Enforcer Bronze Service Star 2, get 10 shotgun or battle rifle kills, and resupply 10 teammates. Again, this is very easy. Enforcer Assignment 2, Unlock Enforcer Assignment 1, Unlock Enforcer Bronze Service Star 7, get 25 shotgun or battle rifle kills, and deflect 250 points of damage with the shield. This will take you no time at all, and you get your shiny beagle, which again sounds like a Pokemon name. Looking at the stats of this gun, you can see why I'm making a gun guide for it. It's an absolute beast when it comes to damage, which really, I mean, that should be expected when it comes to a beagle of all things. Maximum damage, 68, that is great. Minimum damage, 34. Still very strong. Damage drop off start, 10 meters, that's kind of close, but the drop off end is 50 meters. This means you can two-shot people up to 32 meters away and you'll always three-shot after that. Keep in mind, if you get a headshot, you will kill people a hell of a lot faster, and you can one-shot headshot someone up to a certain distance. This is absolutely amazing for damage. If you are an accurate player, you can be very effective with this gun. The fire rate is a little slow, as to be expected, 220 RPM. You should be pacing your shots with this because it does recoil a bit. The muzzle velocity is on the faster side of pistols, being 400 meters a second. But since you can shoot this thing in range, I will compare it to these assault rifles. Assault rifles have about 600, 700 meters a second. So note that your muzzle velocity will be slower than everyone running around with their damn M16s. So just keep that in mind, you can go toe to toe with them, but they do have the advantage. Bullet drop is the same as the assault rifles, 50 meters a second. Magazine size is fairly generous at 8 bullets. Again, it only takes 2-3 shots to kill, so generally you don't get stuck in the middle of a reload. The reload is 2.2 for the short. 2.8 for the long. This is kind of on the slow side of things. The only things that reload slower in the pistol class are the revolvers, but generally with an 8 round mag, I didn't get caught in the middle of a reload with the Desert Eagle, so it didn't seem to matter too much. The recoil, again, is fairly strong. I mean, this is a Desert Eagle, that's to be expected. Recoil up is 2.5, which is a pretty strong recoil. Recoil left and recoil right are both 0.22, which is almost nothing, so entirely vertical recoil and no first shot multiplier, that's just one. So this is really easily manageable, you just gotta wait for your next shot to level back out and then you can shoot again. Just pace your shots, don't spam it, because you can shoot faster than when your gun comes back down and you will miss that next shot. It's really easy to panic spam this thing, but don't do it. This gun is fairly accurate from the hip, so you can get away from shooting without actually aiming down the sights, though obviously if you aim down the sights you will be more accurate. If they're up close to you, feel free to aim from the hip though, you probably are not going to miss, with the exception of this gun having a fairly bad movement penalty, so try not to move when you're shooting it. If they're up close and you're strafing back and forth, you can get away with hip firing, but again, I recommend trying to stand still and shoot. You have a ton of really good choices for attachments to strap onto your beagle. For optics, you have four different choices aside from the iron sights. You have the quote-unquote improved iron sights, which are not improved in any way whatsoever and are complete garbage, so I don't recommend them. You have the mini RDS, or the Delta RDS, and the Comp M4S RDS. I would honestly recommend the Comp. This may be the biggest red dot and it may be the ugliest, but it does seem to work the best with the Desert Eagle. The reason being is that the mini and Delta are too small. So the view kick of the Desert Eagle comes up into the screen more, and after the first shot you tend to lose who you're shooting at, whereas this doesn't happen with the comp. Again, it may be ugly, but just trust me, your performance will improve greatly once you put this on your gun. For accessory, you really only have the choice of running either nothing or a laser sight since a flashlight and attack light are pointless. For a muzzle, you have a lot of really good choices, you can use any of these. A muzzle brake to reduce recoil overall, with no downsides. A compensator to reduce vertical recoil, which this gun has a lot of. A flash hider to reduce the flash, which again this gun has a lot of, and a heavy barrel which could be a really good choice since you shouldn't be moving and shooting this thing, and you can actually hit people at range, so again, that could work great. Personally, what I ended up running with was the flash hider because I found this gun to be good enough as is without really needing any help, and I just wanted to get rid of the huge flash which, again, does tend to blind you and take up a lot of the screen along with the view kick, so this really did help me a lot. 
So to recap, my preferred loadout is to use the Comp M4 Red Dot Sight, a Laser Sight, and a Flash Hider. You do have a lot of really good choices as I have said, so just experiment and figure out what works best for you. I tend to do a lot of moving while shooting even though I tell you not to, so for me the heavy barrel just didn't seem to work, but that would probably, if you're not me, be the best bet. But again, you know what, feel free to experiment, do what you want to do. If I had to sum up this gun using one word, I would use the word potential. If you are a very good player with great accuracy, you can go toe to toe with primary weapons while using this but I wouldn't recommend trying to get really up close to people. I had one of two things happen when I got up in people's face if I didn't succeed, and that was either that I would hit them with the first shot and miss the second shot, and if you miss, you're dead, you're just not going to make it up after that. Or I would not be able to kill them, they would kill me just barely before I could get that second shot off, so it's time to kill seems to be just slow enough to not really be statistically the best in your face, but you can make it work up close if you can aim well. At long range, this really just kind of depends on what's going on. If you think they're not moving and you think you can get them, go all for it. I mean, not really much to lose there. But this gun really exceeds expectations around medium distance. So try to keep a little bit of space between you and the enemy and go for headshots. Good lord, go for headshots. This thing kills so fast if you can get headshots. That about sums up my gun guide. It is a great pistol. It's totally worth doing the assignments because they're very easy to do. You'll unlock them in no time, and it is definitely the best pistol of the Enforcer class. You have no reason to be using anything else in that class if you can shoot someone with a beagle. I got some footage left over from when I was filming using just this gun. I had a lot of fun using this gun going against primaries, believe it or not. So enjoy some footage, and I'll see you guys for the next gun guide. Like the first two shots I took were kills. Yeah, it's a really good gun. Yeah, they should make it so that like the syndicates can only have like a pistol or something, or something that's not also overpowered as a secondary. They should just you know have good weapon balance. That'd be a start. Or you know like make the other syndicates actually kind of good. So that they don't have to. Oh, shit. Man, I'm getting a lot of kills. Thank you. Right here. Okay, I'll try one more time, and if it doesn't, then I'm gonna reform my, my computer. Charge in place. What, they're getting mad? <laughs> that guy is mad. Jera, fuck. <laughs> he didn't even type the K. <laughs> I love it when bodies go flying into the ceiling. Eh, that'll get somebody. That would a good throw. Lol, good double kill. <laughs> I was about to put a freaking oh, trip mine down and you got me. I just got everybody off the roof.